Hello, and welcome to The Beat, a news and talk program produced by the Center for Community Media at Worcester State University. I am your host, Andrew Savinskis, and today we will talk with Sarah McMaster, Director for Marketing at Worcester State. Sarah, thanks for joining us today. Pleasure to be here. So, to begin this interview, do you think you could tell our viewers about the path you took to get to where you are now as the manager for marketing? Sure, absolutely. Um, I started as an undergraduate myself at a community college in California, and then I transferred to University of California, Davis. Uh, after that, I came back to the East Coast for graduate school at Brown University. So those are, that's my educational background. Uh, after that, I, uh, like many people, uh, didn't quite find that perfect job right out of college, um, and I worked in sales and marketing in the educational travel uh, sector. And from there, um, moved on to nonprofit work. And then from there, found myself at Mount Wachusett Community College, one of our sister schools, community college up in Gardner, Massachusetts, uh, where I worked in the marketing and communications uh, department for many years. Um, and uh, a few years ago, about two years ago now, I was looking for some further career development, career growth, and came on board here at Worcester State as the marketing director here two months ago this month. All two right. years ago this month. So as the director of marketing, what do you say are your primary responsibilities? Mm -hmm. um, I look at it kind of in two general buckets. Um, the first is that uh, myself and the entire marketing team, our primary job is to support our admissions colleagues. Okay. And, um, and to help families and prospective students figure out whether Worcester State University is the right fit for them. Is this the place where they should spend the next two or potentially four years? Um, and we do that in a variety of ways. We do that through marketing communications. We do that through enrollment campaigns. We do that through uh, print materials, as well as social media, web, all of that good stuff that um, we do in marketing. The other uh, important aspect of our job as a team here in the marketing department at Worcester State University is that we are the, the university's brand stewards. Uh, so that means we make sure that our brand and what people think of when they think of Worcester State is consistently and coherently communicated through all of those things, be it um, you know, all those materials and, and communications that come directly through our office or the other offices and academic departments here in the university. All right, so what would you say are a couple primary projects that your department is working on at this current time? Uh, I want to talk about one in particular, and All that's right. campus beautification. Uh, we're working hard right now on a couple different mini projects within that larger umbrella. Uh, and it kind of goes back to our brand consistency. And we found that while we were, um, you know, having that conversation really uh, consistently with outside audiences, we actually weren't doing that to the same extent with the students who are here now, as well as alumni who may come back and visit us. Um, so we've uh, kind of started a new initiative this past uh, academic year, and we're now in the second academic year. Um, where we're infusing the campus, the physical campus, with a little bit more of our, um, of our brand. So if you have classes in Sullivan, you might notice that a couple of the classroom walls are freshly painted, are uh, blue. All right. And uh, in the student center, next building over, uh, we'll, we have some uh, visual and performing arts students who are currently working on concepts for some murals and those will be painted uh, hopefully over the uh, slower periods over the holidays coming up in the next couple months over in the student center. We're thinking of about three murals and those will be um, focused on creating a, a welcoming and inclusive environment or, or building upon our welcoming and inclusive environment here at Worcester State University and how students can express that through public art. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and it also helps with brand awareness so that when students or graduates are um, you know, out in the world working and pursuing other things after they leave us here, they'll, they'll recognize Worcester State out in, out in the world as well. And that's a big important thing for me. 
Um, the other thing we're working on, really, uh, really focusing on this semester and this academic year, is research. Um, we do a lot of market research. We do a lot of surveys of students. You may have taken one of our surveys um, just last month, or excuse me, in September. Um, and then uh, things like focus groups, um, uh, usability testing with the website. So we're really looking to um, gather more information and make sure what we're doing and what we think we should be doing makes sense with our audiences, and that means our current students and our prospective students. Sure, that goes a long way to keep the students who have already, you know, saw the brand and was like, oh, I'll go there, keep them engaged in the long run. Absolutely. That's a really well-known um, best practice in marketing. Uh, there's, uh, you know, kind of the standard line is somebody has to see or come into contact with our communications. It used to be 10 times, now it's 15 times before um, one might actually you know, sign up for the tour or ask to receive a postcard in the mail, that kind of thing. So we need to make sure we're really present in, the, in, the, um, in our audience's um, experiences. Yeah, consumers are bombarded with tons of different brands all the time. Every day, all day. It must be tough to keep on top, but you're doing Absolutely. a good job. Well, thank you. So what would you say is unique to being a marketing director in a public university versus going corporate? Mm-hmm. Um, that's a great question. Uh, I think, I'm not sure there's anything that's particularly unique. That's a pretty strong word, but there's definitely a lot um, that I appreciate about being in higher education and being a marketing professional, professional in higher education. Um, it's, first of all, on, on a personal level, it's extremely gratifying. Um, it's important to me and to a lot of people that, that work and teach here um, that we're contributing to a greater good and that we're um, you know, part of that public mission of, of education and access. So that's, that's one of the reasons why um, I think that's you know, a, a, a favorable factor uh, of working in higher education um, because having more educated and informed people in the world is always a good thing in my book. Um, some of the other ways that being a marketing professional in higher education is, is a, a certain special animal is, is our, our um, dedication to transparency and accountability and also protecting student information. And those things don't always seem to uh, go hand in hand, but that's something that my office uh, spends a lot of time thinking about and making sure that we're doing. We have a lot of federal and state um, regulations and requirements that we have to follow. Things like our public disclosure of certain information, um, both to students as well as the general public, that we do through either web content or printed publications. Um, but we need to about, uh, balance that transparency with other kinds of accountability like FERPA, which is uh, the federal regulations that um, protect all students' uh, data. So that um, although we are a public institution and anyone can request um, certain information from us at any time, your information is not part of that body of, of data, which is a good thing. That's for good all to hear. Students. Yes, yeah. it is good to hear. Um, and so our office works really hard around those kinds of things. and that. You know, is it having those kinds of parameters are not unique to higher education, but it's unique in that the people we're protecting are students. Yeah. Um, uh, another thing that's different from perhaps retail or other um, verticals is the, the length of time that a family and a prospective student takes in making their college decision. You know, where you go for dinner is a pretty fast uh, decision, but where you go for college is a totally different um, cycle of events, and so that is unlike a lot of other um, industries that people might um, work in in marketing, uh, retail, uh, hospitality, things like that. There's other industries that are similar, um, healthcare being one of them, it, insurance being another. Um, and one of the more um, fun, one of the things that makes my job really fun is the what's going on on campus. You know, part of my job is to tell our story, and lucky for me. Our story is about being a college campus where we have amazing events going on and students doing incredible research and projects um, so that the content that I get to work with is really fun and exciting. Um, and so that, again, it's not unique to higher ed. Other, you know, if you work in maybe sports, that's pretty exciting too. Um, but I think that that's part of that. Those things all taken together maybe is what makes us unique. So similar theories and practices, but when it comes to the actual job you have to be able to 
keep your consumers coming back because they know they have to invest for a long time. Mm -hmm. All right. Very interesting. So back to student engagement. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys intern with any of the students here? And if you were to, what sort of qualifications would you need to get involved? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> we do, in fact, have a well-established um, internship program for the marketing office at Worcester State. Um, we have a, a handful of anywhere between five and ten interns per academic semester. Uh, and we do have a, a pretty formal um, interview and application process that we follow. Um, point to camera one. We're currently recruiting for uh, spring 2019. Hear that, everybody? Get those resumes ready. <laughs> um, so we take in interns every semester. Uh, we look for students who are interested in experiences and mentorship in social media, video production, still photography, research, digital media and social media, uh, general office assisting, and professional writing. We also have uh, a street team, and that's our social media team that generates a lot of the social media content that um, current students and prospective students might encounter when they're online. Um, and then we also have a new program that we're working on right now that hasn't even rolled out, uh, so a little preview here, um, where we're going to recruit students who may not be looking for a credit internship. Our internships are for credit, so students um, you know, liaise with their advisors and they do get academic credit. Um, but for those students that are not able to commit to that level um, for scheduling or other reasons, we also have what we call our ambassador program, and that's for students that might just want to participate in some of the other things we're doing on a, a shorter term. Um, so perhaps we're looking to uh, shoot video on campus, and we just need students to um, you know, walk around campus and, and be in the footage, or we're uh, working on some print materials and we need students um, for some still photography. Uh, we prefer to always use our own real students because that helps us uh, remain authentic. And that's really important. Um, so we, we never use stock photography or things like that. And those important pieces, we always use our, our actual students. So we're always looking for students to participate in that way. Um, right now, we're working on the um, application for that so we can develop a, a list of students who might be interested. So if anybody watching today is interested in something like that, they can always email us at marketing at worcester.edu. I'm sure people would be pretty appreciative to hear that. There's always so. looking for work out there. Yes. So <coughs> to address students who may be interested in coming here and mm -hmm. people who already are here, what is mm -hmm. the most interesting thing that's unique about this school? I thought a lot about that question, and I've learned in the two years that I've been here that there is something that makes us pretty special, um, uh, especially in, in Worcester County, where we have so many colleges and universities. And I talk to a lot of uh, professors across the university here uh, when we're working on our projects. And in those conversations, I've come to learn that our students here have access to resources and experiences that students at other colleges and universities might not have. Either they don't have it as an undergraduate, um, or they, it's something that they wouldn't have access to until they were maybe a senior or a graduate student. Um, and that's everything from uh, equipment in the chemistry lab to um, you know, the, the student radio station that we have here. Um, so I've heard pretty consistently from faculty that um, you know, our undergraduates, you know, first year, first semester here, they have access to equipment and experiences that they wouldn't get elsewhere. And so I really learned that firsthand, and that's something that struck me. Um, I think the other thing, uh, and I challenge our audience, is to find some of the hidden gems on campus. Um, you know, I tend to take a walk around, um, you know, just to get away from my screen and, and break up the day, and I walk through a building or, you know, around a corner, and I'm always struck by the interesting things that I find. Um, so I'm going to put out a challenge to somebody. I think that there is a hidden gem in our lobby or the main entrance area of the Gauche Science and Technology Building. So uh, I'm curious to see what people might think is a hidden gem. It's in plain sight, 
right in the lobby of the Science and Technology Building. That's pretty cool, you know? You kind of just walk through the halls every day, and it's just like, ah, I've seen this before. But if you keep your eyes open, you might find something interesting. Yeah, that's what happened to me. That's how I learned about it. All right. So this might be a kind of a broad question, and you may have touched upon it earlier. Um, but what do you find to be the most fulfilling part of being a marketing director here? Mm -hmm. It's one day every year, and it's graduation, <laughs> hands down. Hands down, and I'm sure a lot of people on campus who are not faculty, who don't get a chance to work with students uh, in that same way, I, I think they'd have a similar answer if you had the opportunity to ask them as well. Um, commencement graduation and seeing students that have been you know, interns in the department or um, have worked with us in other ways that we've you know, mentored or interviewed, things like that, to see uh, them walk across the stage and graduate is a very gratifying experience. Yeah, I hear that all the time but it's just so true yeah. you know because those four years you're making friends and it's sad to see them go but yeah. you know you feel great when you put them through it yeah. all right thank you very much thank you thank you for watching this segment of the beat please remember to like our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash media WSU and make sure to follow us on our Twitter at media WSU we'll see you next time